All right, well, we're taking down the circus tent today. We've got uh, our big homebrew festival here every year. And Buddy uh, owns this big property. And this year we all chipped in and bought a government surplus tent for the homebrew festival. And it's that was two months ago, and the tent's been up ever since. So a bunch of us are gathering out here today to take it down. All right, we got that one jerry-rigged part way down. We're going to try to do the same with that guy, I guess. I was really starting to, there's a lot of pressure there. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got two of them lowered a bit. Let's we'll see what we get what we're gonna do with the third one where we don't know really what we're doing. Alright, we got one pole down. We just gotta get the flag off of there before we proceed. Oh there those guys are taking that stuff down. We're just getting a wrench for the flag pole. Yeah, well there's one pole down. It's going pretty quickly so far. Getting the other flag pole out of there. Get two down. This is swirl. Geez, we're only going like a half an hour and we're this far so far. That's pretty good. All right, these things can be a bit finicky, but that one's not bad. Yeah. So that chain is going about two feet down, and there's anchors going into the bedrock down there. So we'll leave the chains there, obviously, for years to come. Uh, this one is easier than the other one, taking that off, but the ones with the hooks are a lot easier. So I wasn't here when they put it up, but they're saying each of these sections of tarp weighs like three or four hundred pounds, so you gotta fold those up and haul them in. Some of these things are really tough. The weight of that tent on these knots has really tightened them up, and I'm able to get at some of them with pliers and get them out, but some of them are, we're probably gonna have to cut that strap, and then next time around we'll put them on with some kind of S-hook or something. So we won't have that problem in the future. Broadhead, wildhead, or wildcard. Wildcard. Yeah. I think we're beyond the risk point, yeah. Oh no, we were lifted into there. I guess I'm gonna have to no. put this camera away and help, eh? <laughs> when we took it, I wasn't gonna say. We're good. All right, roll it flat. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna be too, too much fun. Flipping it on or lifting it off? Just lifting it straight on.
and that's it we're done it's only been about two hours and that's with copious beer breaks so it's a lot a uh, lot easier to take down than to get up Probably would be three hours if we didn't have beer breaks. <laughs> Probably would be three hours if we didn't have beer breaks. Yeah, yeah. looks like they're scouting for a new site for. Yeah, it's a good thing there's a homebrew in the house, even though that's not homebrew. It's because I drank all my homebrew last week. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good homebrew dinner. And down to my last two in the bottom there. Oh yeah, what's oh. in there? Yeah. Oh, your APAs? Oh, yeah. we do have some oh, homebrew awesome. present. Very nice. Cal's electric APA, except that a different malt taste. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Just a maze for a two year old plant. Wow, just two years old. Oh, that's pretty yeah. good. Thanks. I had enough last year for, to do half my pumping schedule. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Just astounded. What, right? Uh, pearl. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. man, that is really good beer, man. Yeah, you like it? That is really good, yeah. Okay. so much hops. Mm. But not like crazy bitter. It's uh, yeah. lots okay. of uh, flavor. It's, it's very good. Right? If, if I can, smell, minute, yeah. if I can smell it, it's packed with the, yeah. Oh, it's really I good. I've got a dead nose and I can smell it. I put in like 40 grams of citra. That's, nice. that's really nice beer. Awesome. 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 Awesome.